It's like as tall as she is. I'm with her and I ended up getting stuck and I plowed nothing. He literally hit that fence. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. I'm just gonna be a stress case until Garrett gets home if I'm gonna be honest. Alright guys, I just finished making breakfast. Is it good, Paigey? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah? Avery Bug is eating some too. Huh? Is it good? Yeah. I just gave her some eggs and some waffle. And I might... Oh, thank you. And I might cut up a couple blueberries for her too. But she's doing so much better with baby lot weaning and eating and stuff. She's actually shown an interest. She's been keeping it down lately. I think that she just went through like, I don't even know that, where she was throwing up for a couple of days. I think that it must have just been like traveling too much on her stomach. I don't really know, but she's doing better now. Hold on, baby, I gotta cut it for her, okay? Okay, sorry. It's okay. But anyways, the girls and I are eating breakfast now. It is a snow day. It's a snow day today. I was planning on going to town. Wow, I look crazy. Anyways, I was planning on going to town because I have a party tomorrow night that I need to get um, a white elephant gift for. But like literally they canceled school today because the roads are so bad. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But the girls and I are just going to hang out inside, eat breakfast. We'll probably go play with toys for a bit, watch a movie. I don't know, but... Really? But the crazy weather definitely Tell changed me. my plans. If you guys are wondering why I've missed a couple days, this is why. She cannot be left alone on the floor, or anywhere for that matter. Like the second I set her down and leave her somewhere, she just instantly starts freaking out. She won't just sit and play. She just wants to whine and cry. She's going through a phase, that's for sure. She is going through a phase right now. I also think she's teething, so she's like uncomfortable. Um, and then the other thing that's been like making it hard for me to edit and upload is she wants to contact sleep so like if she goes down for a nap or even at night time she's i've had a very hard time getting her down lately actually last night was the first night that she was finally good like she was back to her normal self i think she might be feeling better but <clears throat> for the last like week or so she just wants me to hold her like if i try to set her down she instantly wakes up and starts screaming so um that's made it really hard for me to get daily videos up <laughs> but She's fine if I'm sitting right here next to her or if I'm on the ground with her, she's fine. But if I walk away, it's instant meltdown. She just wants mommy by her all the time. Hey, can you stop? No. What? Mommy. You want me to help? You're helping me by doing that? Yeah, you got to help me. Oh, thanks. I came out here to shovel a little bit, just like our walkway. You guys, we have so much snow. Like, literally. Paige, go stand right there. It's like as tall as she is. <laughs> Avery's sitting over here in her high chair in the garage, though. So. Just watching, huh? Do you like it? It is pretty cold today, though, so I'm just gonna try and hurry and finish this. Put some ice melt down on the ice so that the package people can deliver our stuff without slipping. Pedro, are you having fun now? Yeah. You love the snow, huh? Look, I just got it. She fell earlier and didn't have gloves on, and it was the end of the world, but she's got her gloves now. Uh. Yeah.
Here, Paige. Thank you. Okay, careful, because it's kind of hot, okay? Here, Di. To do your whipped cream. Okay. Mm. What? You want red sprinkles and green sprinkles? Hmm. Red sprinkles. Okay, here. Just a little bit, okay? Okay, should we do some green now? Okay, there you go. Neighbors. Eat it. Eat it. I want food. Okay, hold on. I want pink. I want pink. Is it good? I want pink. You want a pink spoon? Yeah. This is a purple spoon. Paige, what did you get? A smoothie. No, that's hot chocolate. Hot chocolate? Yeah, it's hot chocolate. Avery has been eating. Here you go. She wants to do it herself, though. I've tried to spoon feed her, and she just grabs it for me. Is that good? I'm not going to give her any more, because I definitely don't want her throwing up. But. You got good hot chocolate. Can you say cheers? Cheers. <laughs> she just cheered me on my Instagram and accidentally spilled some on herself, so she doesn't want to do it again. But that's okay. You don't have to. Anyways, I... <laughs> Let me see if I can find the footage. Hold on. Okay, Paige and I <laughs> attempted what I got on the four-wheeler because it has a plow on it. And um, I tried to plow the driveway with her and I ended up getting stuck and I plowed nothing. Like I didn't have the plow low enough, so I plowed nothing. But there we are, trying to plow, getting nowhere. And then Avery started crying and so I literally just gave up. Not to be sexist, but there's like man jobs and woman jobs. And I can do it, and I'm sure I could figure it out if I really wanted, but I'm gonna leave that one for my husband, okay? That one can be his, I'll allow it. And he actually really, I know that he loves playing on the floor, on the four wheeler at least. I don't think he likes shoveling as much. He doesn't mind it though either. But I did get the walkway um, shoveled at least, so that's good. But as you guys can tell, like the road is all the way down there. Our driveway is huge. So it takes a few minutes to get it completely plowed. And I've never plowed like with the four wheeler before. I could shovel all day, every day. Okay, I got that one down. Plowing is a little harder for me, especially since I've never done it. I'm gonna have to have Garrett teach me though. Cause it's hard when he's at work, especially when it's bad like this. I think my car would make it out of the driveway fine. Honestly, like it's all wheel drive and the snow is not too deep. However, do you think it would be good for me to like figure out how to do that? Anyways, the girls and I came back inside. Poor Avery was getting cold and her nose was running. So I was like, okay, she needs to go in. And um, we just made some hot chocolate. I think I'm gonna do some quesadillas for lunch with that shredded beef I made yesterday. Um, Paige won't eat the shredded beef, but I'll make her a quesadilla and then Avery can eat some tortilla. I haven't given her cheese yet, so maybe I could try and give her some cheese too, but. Anyways, there's a little update on our day. Paige loved playing out in the snow. I'm glad we got to do that for a little bit. I hate getting them all dressed up in their winter gear and like ready to go out there, but once we do it, it's fun. And I knew I needed to plow. So... Paige, do you ever stop talking? You're playing by yourself, just talking letters? Finds it entertaining. I, on the other hand, am mentally unwell. I? The guy that was feeding Avery and I put her down for a nap, like I was holding her, rocking her, and she just barely woke up, obviously. Yeah. I came out and found this little princess sleeping with her kitty. I turned on Cinderella for her to watch, and I guess she fell asleep. Okay, I really need to go to the store. 
And I was like, okay, I'll go after the girls' naps. But now it's snowing again. This is insane. Like how much snow we're getting. Okay, according to the radar, it doesn't look like it's going to be bad at all. It's bad over here, but not where I'm at, so should be good. It also says it's going to stop after 5, so. And hopefully it stays like that because Garrett's supposed to, Garrett drives home at like 9. And if you don't know, he's like 2 hours away. Like he commutes from the mine, that's where he works, is at a mine. And if the roads are bad or if there's a bad crash or anything like that, he gets stuck and it's terrible so hopefully it'll be fine and he can make it home okay because that would really blow if he like he got home probably only like 30 minutes late yesterday but based on today's weather it might be worse tonight so we'll see did you eat your quesadilla is it good <laughs> I was a little worried to see how Avery was gonna do with it because obviously like you gotta chew it but she's been doing really good surprisingly she has it all over her face though and you have a big chunk in your mouth you chew it good but she's been doing really good she's been eating it for like 10 minutes I'm doing great so. uh -oh, make your mess. that's okay babies make messes sometimes huh yeah she's gonna need to take a bath she's gonna need to take a bath I think she'll be okay if I just wipe her down what we get in the mail? You guys know I use in Love Thrive Market. It's pretty much like an online health food store is the way I would explain it. Like they have all sorts of healthier options for. <laughs> snacks and pantry items and stuff like that. And they have really high standards. In order to like have food on their website that has to have like high standards pretty much so so I love getting the girls snacks off of there and pantry items off of there um, I also get a lot of like our soaps and lotions and like um, health care is that what it's called like bathroom products off of there too because they have really good options for that that are low toxic I also always keep a link in my description crackers for 40% off your first order it is a subscription thing you do place an order monthly but it's groceries so that's not a problem for me to place an order monthly like Paige will go through these pouches probably in like three weeks okay do you want me to open these for you okay these are technically supposed to be for Avery but they're sweet potato carrot baby mom moms so they're pretty much just like teether crackers she really likes those I got Paige some pear, carrot, and beet pouches. These are regular applesauce, and this is strawberry applesauce. And she, you guys know, loves pouches. Also, one of you guys was asking where I get my matcha from, Mallory. Um, I get it from Thrive Market, so I got some more matcha, because I think I'm gonna put it in one of those little containers on my coffee bar. I'm also a big fan of poppy sodas. So these are like a prebiotic healthy soda, if you will. And they actually taste like the most similar to soda in my head to me. So these are like the soda replacement drinks that I prefer. Um, I got this CBD, CBD Serenity Bath Bomb. It's a bath bomb that I got for my sister. Um, I'm going to give this to her with a gift card. Just so she has like something physical and a gift card for Christmas. Older sister. And then um, I got some of these chickpea pastas. I really like these ones. They're higher in protein. She can eat them too. She'll also eat them obviously. But that's a really good pasta option that I like. I also get like canned goods off of there. Like pasta sauces. Um, beans, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of Paige's candy I get off of there because they have the low sugar candy, like the little lollipops. She loves those. I buy a lot of my stuff off of their website because like I said, it's held to higher standards, which I appreciate as a consumer. Anyways, that is, we just finished our lunch, yeah. opened our package. What? Yeah, big. Is that big. Is that a good cracker? She always wants to eat Avery's crackers. Hey, I don't know why. We, decorate. we do have decoration. Okay, so I got on the highway to see if it was better. This is not the highway, by the way. But the highway is actually so bad. Um, and I 
just like, I don't know if you guys could see that over there, but there's like a bunch of buses down here too that are like stuck and cannot get up the little hill to get onto the highway, which is not promising considering the fact that Garrett's commute, like he commutes on a bus. And these buses are like, oh, see this bus, I'm assuming that this bus, he literally slid all the way back. He like <laughs> tried to drive up this and slid all the way back. Oh God, yep, I'm going home. I tried and no. The answer is a hard no. He literally hit that fence. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. Why are the roads not better? I figured that they'd have them pretty plowed by now because it's just been like, it's been snowing but not super bad. Oh God, okay, I'm going back on the highway now, so bye. These are the conditions of the highway. Like still so much snow, super slick. Like I was watching people turn on and like everybody sliding on. I mean, you guys saw that bus. That bus couldn't even get up the hill. Like, ugh. I thought the highways would be cleared by now. I mean, it's still snowing, but not as bad as it's been, I don't know. Anyways, I don't know what I was thinking, but we're going to the grocery store that's down the street from where I live to get a couple things, and then I guess, hopefully tomorrow it'll be better, and I can go get my errands done tomorrow, but yikes. All right, guys, we made it home from the store. Avery's still napping in the car, so I just FaceTimed her so I can see. But we got some snacks. I figure I could just stop tomorrow. Well, hopefully the roads are better tomorrow and I can make it to town and I can run all my errands. Tomorrow, there's someone in my driveway. Okay, well, they just backed out and left. That was really weird. Um, that was weird. Anyways, uh, I figured I can do all my main grocery shopping tomorrow. If the roads are better, then I can get all my errands ran and stuff tomorrow. But the roads, I was like shocked at how bad they were still. Um, I really hope that Garrett makes it home okay though. Like that's what stresses me out the most. Is I'm wondering if he drove out or if he took the bus. Because like I said, there's a two hour commute each way. And so there's a bus that they can take or if they want they can drive themselves out he usually takes the bus but sometimes when the weather's really bad he'll just drive because obviously like the buses are super slow and like accident prone and so he'd rather just drive but also like who knows if his bus is even going to make it out there all those buses like i could not believe that that one crashed into a fence like the roads are covered in snow and it's like this like wet slick snow so like i was walking to the grocery store and I almost slipped like walking on it because it's the slip like i don't know how to explain it but it's really slick and so those buses just couldn't even make it up that hill and the one just crashed into that fence <laughs> but i don't know i'm just gonna hang out with this one for a little bit wait for avery to wake up and then go from there because i don't even i just i'm just gonna be a stress case until garrett gets home if i'm gonna be honest I just ate one of those cookies and I have to say zero out of ten would not recommend that was khaki why do people like those so much I've never gotten them like I didn't have them as a kid growing up my mom makes homemade cookies maybe that's the problem but those were terrible will not ever I got snowman and Santa Clauses so I'm probably gonna throw the other ones away because that was really not good I guess we'll see if Kara likes it but Anyways, the girls and I made cookies. We are now 
sitting around. I'm watching Shameless on my iP iPad because I've been in a Shameless kick, but obviously this is not. If you guys have watched it, it's a terrible show. Like, don't watch around your kids. But if it's on the iPad, she can't see it. They're watching Mickey Mouse. And then Mickey they've been playing. Oh, sorry. Mickey Roads to Racers. Um, and, uh, playing in that thing. Avery's thankfully been pretty chill today. Usually she screams all day, every day. I'm not even kidding. If I'm not holding her or she's not sleeping, she's screaming. But she's been pretty good today, which is such a blessing. Garrett did also text me and say the bus finally got there. They're getting loaded onto it now to leave work. It's only like an hour behind. So he's going to be getting home so late, which is so annoying. But luckily, it's his last day of work for a few days. Anyways, I'll update you guys when Garrett gets home, which is going to be super late. So I'll probably put the girls to bed here pretty soon. All right, you guys, I just got both kids to bed. Garrett got home like an hour ago around 10 o'clock, which is like... He usually gets home around 9, so not too bad. I thought he was going to be later than that, but still, like 10 o'clock at night. I feel bad. Anyways, um, we're going to go to sleep now, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. Subscribe to my channel below to see more of my videos, and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one.